So with Ground Branch's latest update being just around the corner, that being December 19th, I wanted to go over the top 5 biggest features coming with this update, version 1034. These are what I think are the major changes and additions coming. Bear in mind the update will be a lot bigger than what I'm showing here. Once the update is out, I'll do a full breakdown of what has been released. First on the list is Prone. Coming to Ground Branch's version 1034 is the addition to Go Prone. While many people have been asking for this feature for a long time, it seems that it's not as easy as you would think to implement it into the game. The devs have talked about this a fair bit in the last few Intel reports. This is what they have said. Preventing characters' legs from clipping through a wall when crawling backward requires additional programming. Regular character collision used while standing or crouching doesn't automatically apply to the prone position. Extra logic needs to be created specifically for prone movement to handle collisions and prevent clipping issues. Making a character conform to slope surfaces while prone requires additional programming. Without specific logic for prone positions, characters may disregard the terrain and appear as if lying on a perfectly flat surface. They have also said, arm and weapon collision had to be reworked for the prone position. Short stocking and other collision animations designed for different stances don't automatically apply to the prone stance. Obstacles will currently prevent players from turning their aim beyond a certain point when in the prone position. The limitation on aim turning in prone may be subject to change based on the development of prone mechanics and feedback received from users. So it's evident that the addition of the prone feature isn't a haphazard inclusion. There's a clear commitment to ensuring a proper functionality and visual appeal. The developers are not merely adding prone for the sake of it. They are dedicated to making it work seamlessly and look polished. I think this approach deserves full respect as it reflects a commitment to delivering a high quality and immersive gaming experience. Next on the list is the one thing that will bring some controversy to this update, is female operators. In the upcoming update, Ground Branch will introduce female operators to the game. An awesome addition in my view, if the idea doesn't resonate with you, no worries, you can always choose not to play a female operator, it's that simple. Regardless of personal preferences, these new additions will be implemented, adding a little bit of diversity to the gaming experience. We will be getting 5 female characters to choose from, along with that we will also have female voices added to the game. Again, if you don't like it, just don't play as a female character. Next up is the one thing that I'm really excited for, and that's a new AI overhaul. The AI in Ground Branch has undergone a complete rework. It now utilizes the middleware Kythera AI's built-in cover generation system. This system allows the creation of different types of cover points. Enemy AI can now take full cover, stand behind it, and either lean or step out to return fire. A new pop-up cover feature has been introduced. Designated points where AI can take cover by crouching behind and popping up to shoot. A new target has been implemented. This allows AI to shoot an area where shots may randomly land around the target. Over time, as long as bots maintain contact, the accuracy plane reduces until any shot fired will definitely hit the player. Version 1034 also gives enemy AI the ability to contextually look and shoot out of windows. In Ground Branch 1033, the AI already performs this action, but in the upcoming release of version 1034, any enemy indoors can run up to a window to check outside if they hear something. If a target is spotted, they then can shoot out of a window. In version 1033, window bots would be specifically positioned and set to guard state, while other bots would rush outside in search of players. So with all this, I'm really hoping for a better and more challenging experience, and not challenging where they just aimbot you from 200 meters away. I'm hoping on gameplay where tactics are really needed to get through a mission successfully, so fingers crossed. Number 4 on the list is the new map called Hideout. Not much has been said about this map, the only thing we know is that it's going to be a smaller size map, and we have been given a couple of screenshots and that's about it. What I'm hoping for with this map is something like Small Town, maybe a little bit bigger. A map with a bunch of homes that focuses on CQB and where you need to move from home to home and clear it all. With a new AI this could be really cool. Last but certainly not least is mod support. We are finally getting mod support. In version 1034 we'll be able to use the Steam Workshop to get all our mods like they have in something like Armour. This is a tried and tested system. 
Popular with modders and the automatic background updating of mods is a key feature that should greatly enhance the user experience. So the way weapon mods will be made is by the Ground Branch SDK Software Development Kit, which is effectively a customized version of the Unreal Editor, including some basic Ground Branch bits and pieces. So this is really going to open up the door for more modded weapons, outfits, and the biggest thing, new maps. If it's anything like Ready or Not, where they have tons of modded maps, this will absolutely be amazing for Ground Branch. It will just add so much replayability, and I think it will bring a lot of people to this game and really boost the play. Account. So that's my top 5 things coming to the new 1034 update. A quick mention of all the stuff we are getting though. New weapons, new visuals, small town update, new characters, new haircuts and beards and so so much more. Again I'll be doing a full breakdown of the update when it's released so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you did like this video give us a thumbs up, if you didn't a thumbs down that's perfectly fine. Comment, subscribe and thanks for watching.